Friends, ATS we use in our home. In this ATS, you have seen when power supply fails, changeover take place automatically. When power supply comes to normal, then again changeover will take place. But in this ATS, there is a problem. What it is? See, when main power supply fails and suddenly comes to normal, then suddenly changeover will be there in ATS. What I want to say is, if power supply got tripped, then becomes normal, again got tripped, again becomes normal, again tripped, normal, then repeatedly changeover will take place in ATS. If you want that, changeover should not be there repeatedly in a particular time, then in this circuit, you need to do some changes. To change this circuit, we have to use this type of timer in this circuit. First of all, let me tell you, if you have this type of auto changeover switch, then how you are going to do connection of this? See, connection of auto changeover switch is very easy. In this auto changeover switch, here N is written, here R is written. N means normal power supply, that is power supply which is coming to your home, phase supply and neutral supply of this is connected here. Now here also you can see A and N is written. Where A is written, you have to connect phase supply there. And where N is written, you have to connect neutral supply there. This MCB is of main power supply. So from this MCB, by connecting wires, I provided grid power supply or main power supply to ATS. In the same way, I used one more MCB here. With this MCB, two wires are connected. Now these two wires are coming here and in this ATS at R side terminals, that is with A and N terminal, I connected these wires. Here R is written, it means reserved power supply. That is, another power supply you have, like generator power supply, solar panel power supply, inverter power supply, whatever secondary power supply you have, you have to bring this supply and you have to connect above at this side. Now after this, you can see four more terminals are there. On these four terminals also, you can see A, N and on this side also A, N is written. It means where A is written, from there we will get phase supply and where N is written, from there I will get neutral supply. Now in output, there is only one load. To run this load, what we will do, A and N terminals on both sides here, we will short these with each other. That is, we will short A terminal with A and N terminal with N. Now here we have two different output terminal. By connecting wires from any side, provide power supply to the load. For now, just to explain you, I used lamp. To this lamp, power is supplied from here. So in this way, we have to do connection of ATS. As I told you, if power supply is getting on and off again and again, then ATS will do changeover again and again. If you want that this ATS should not do changeover repeatedly, then for this, you can do one thing. You can take this type of any timer. This timer I have, this is on delay timer. That is, if I provide power supply to this timer, then this timer will generate output command after some time. We will use this output power supply for changeover of this ATS. Apart from this timer, we have to use a contactor also. Why we need to use a contactor here, let me explain you. See, for now, this changeover switch I have, this is fully automatic. And load here, I mean to this lamp, power supply which is going, is flowing through this wire only. There is no control terminal in this auto changeover switch. Here some terminals are given, but these are NONC contact, which we use for connection of on indication lamp, off indication lamp. So you have to understand that in this ATS through power terminal whole current is flowing so we cannot control this current through timer because through contact of timer we can flow only 1 to 2 ampere current. This is why I am using contactor. Through contactor power supply will go to this ATS and to turn on and off this contactor we will use this timer. How we are going to do it let's understand. First of all what I will do I am removing timer from here and mounting it here. Now at this point in the middle, I am mounting this contactor. Now this MCB here, power supply which is coming from this MCB, connect this power supply with the contactor. There is small wire connected here, so I am removing this. After removing this, keep this aside. After this what I have to do, MCB here, bring output power supply from MCB and connect with power terminal of contactor. So I am using a small loop of wire. In this main MCB with phase terminal, I am connecting this loop of wire. Now power supply which goes from here will go to power terminal of contactor. That is, we have to connect this here. Neutral terminal of MCB here, I mean this neutral terminal here, with this I am connecting this wire. 
take other end of this wire and with L1 terminal of contactor connect this wire. So with power terminals of contactor I connected phase and neutral supply. Now output terminal of contactor here I mean phase supply which we connected here output power supply of this which we get here with this output power supply connect one wire. Now take other end of this wire and in this ATS with normal power supply terminal here where we have to connect phase supply with this supply connect this wire. Let's make this wire short first remove this insulation after this I am connecting this wire here. Now at L1 terminal of contactor here where we connected neutral supply before at T1 terminal we will get neutral power supply in output so with this terminal we will connect one wire. Now take other end of this wire and in this ATS with normal power supply terminal like neutral terminal with this terminal connect this wire. So just now changes we did in connection is in this ATS normal power supply here we didn't connect it this normal power supply directly. We cut this wire of normal power supply after this we connected contactor here that is from MCB power supply will go to contactor. After contactor turned on power supply will go to terminal of ATS. Connection which we did till now let us see the working of this first. Like if I turn on MCB here you saw this changeover switch did the changeover. Now I am turning on main power supply. On turning on main supply no change took place. But before when I was turning off main power supply and after that when turned on here changeover was taking place. So right now this ATS is using reserve power supply. You can see here R is written it means that this ATS is using solar panel inverter or UPS supply. It means to this lamp power supply is going through backup power supply. Main power supply is not going. Reason behind this is this contactor here is in off condition right now. Now when I turn on this contactor you can see here changeover took place. When it is turned off again changeover is there. Through secondary power supply, power supply is distributed in our home. I hope you understood the concept that when we turn on the contactor then only grid power supply will go to this ATS. If contactor is off, grid power supply will not go to ATS. Now to turn on and off this contactor we will use a timer here. How we are going to do connection of timer let's understand this also. First of all what you have to do to operate this timer. In this timer here you can see there is A1 terminal and A2 terminal. On these two terminals you have to connect phase and neutral supply. So with phase terminal of MCB you have to connect one wire. Bring other end of this wire and with A1 terminal of timer here connect this wire. Now to this timer we have to provide neutral power supply also at A2 terminal. For this I am using a black wire here. Take this wire and with neutral terminal of MCB connect this wire with this terminal. Take other end of this wire and with A2 terminal of timer connect this wire. Now common terminal which is there in this timer 15 number and 25 number terminal is common terminal. So if you want at 15 number terminal or at 25 number terminal you can do looping of phase supply. For this I am using a small piece of wire. With A1 terminal here I am connecting this wire. Now connect other end of this wire with 15 number terminal. 16 number terminal of timer is NC contact and 18 number terminal is NO contact. Right now we have to use NO contact of this timer to turn on this contactor. I am using a wire here at 18 number terminal of timer like you can see here, here is 18 number terminal. With this terminal I am connecting this wire. Now take other end of this wire and this contactor here to turn on this coil terminals which are there, I mean A1 terminal here this one with this terminal connect this wire. Now at A2 terminal we have to provide neutral supply then only this contactor is going to turn on. If we want from here only we can loop neutral supply or from here also we can loop neutral supply. At neutral terminal of MCB already two wires are connected so what we will do with this contactor neutral supply we connected with this neutral power supply connect one wire. So I connected this wire. Now take other end of this wire and contactor here with A2 terminal of this connect this wire. That is to provide neutral supply to contactor we did looping from here. Now to turn on this ATS after some time connection which was required we did that connection. Now we only need to set time in this timer that after how much time through this timer we have to turn on this ATS. That is till how much time it should monitor that power supply is not tripping again that time we have to set here. For now I am setting 5 seconds time here. 
it will wait for 5 seconds that if power supply is tripping again or not. After this, it will let ATS to do changeover. I am increasing the time here to 10 seconds so that I can explain you. Now if I turn on main power supply here, then you can see here my timer countdown started. Contactor is not on. Contactor will turn on after 10 seconds. You saw after contactor turned on, changeover took place in ATS. Now if I turn on backup power supply here, after this if I turn off main power supply, suddenly changeover is there. But when main power supply comes back to normal, changeover will not take place suddenly. It will be monitored first whether power supply is tripping again or not. If it again got tripped, changeover will not take place. Now if power supply again got normal and got tripped again, then also changeover will not happen. It means till this power supply will not remain on for 10 seconds, like I turned on this, now till 10 seconds I will not trip this supply. Now this changeover switch will do changeover automatically. So you saw how easily we did modification in this ATS such that power fluctuations which are there in our home due to these power fluctuations here ATS will not do the changeover again and again. Sometimes it happens that power supply gets normal, trips again, again gets normal, again got trip. In this way power fluctuates due to which electrical devices in our home get damaged. But after this modification when power supply trips and gets normal suddenly then it will wait for some time to let changeover to take place. After that, changeover will be there automatically. Friends, I hope you learned something new from this video. Friends, if you like this video, then do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.